Moses plays the part of the spiritual mentor guiding you towards the future you have imagined. According to Neville Goddard, we should regard the Bible not just as an account of history but also as a manual for our everyday spiritual salvation. Every character in the Bible, from Adam to Jesus, personifies different levels of awareness that we encounter throughout our lives. At one point, we could identify with Adam, exploring uncharted territory and shaping our own experiences, while at another time, we might step into the shoes of Jesus, facing adversity despite our kind acts. William Blake, in his Reflections on the Final Judgment, advises us to see characters like Moses or Abraham not as historical figures but rather as symbols denoting particular conditions, each having a unique title in the holy texts of the Bible. He points out that from a distance, these figures might seem like a solitary entity, however, upon closer examination, they turn out to be numerous communities, implying that this sole existence is common to us all. The first five volumes of the Bible, called the Torah, introduce Abraham as the harbinger of civilization. Nevertheless, the persona of Moses emerges as the everlasting and boundless condition. The name Moses stems from the old Egyptian phrase meaning is born, pointing to birth. Consequently, the concluding statements in Deuteronomy 34 verses 5 to 6 about Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord, suggest Moses' continuous presence inside us. Instead of historical figures who have their burial spots becoming shrines, Moses' tomb stays hidden. This enigma emphasizes the idea that Moses exists within every one of us, awaiting discovery not in a physical place but in a dimension of divine submission. Moses embodies the ultimate ambition for Israel ruling with divine authority. Upon announcing the commands and stating, I am the Lord thy God, he discloses the divine name I am, equating himself with the Lord and revealing that he, Moses, embodies divinity. This realization initiates wondrous occurrences, labeled as indicators in the writings. The tale of Moses evolving into Joshua indicates the development from a divine design in its infancy to its actualization. Similar to Jesus, Joshua embodies divine knowledge and strength, insinuating consistency between the Old and New Testaments. The marvels credited to Moses, including the snake on the rod, function as metaphors for the ageless scenarios surpassing the biblical age. Eventually, our contemporary aspirations, regardless if they involve material goods or personal accomplishments, culminate in the supreme pledge of coming back to our eternal dwelling. Regardless of our worldly ties, genuine liberation can only be attained by going back to the eternal domain, where we experience rebirth into unity with the divine. The expression I am incorporates the presence of God within us, empowering us to bring our dreams to fruition by asserting our identities in harmony with divine purpose. This statement eliminates the necessity for mediators, positioning the creative force straight in our grasp. Through saying I am affluent or I am hail, we summon the divine name and adjust our consciousness to match the sought-after situation, circumventing any outside factors or representations that might obscure our immediate link with the divine. The expedition across the wilderness, headed by Moses, symbolizes our individual and collective pursuits of fulfillment. Despite doubts and the enticement to fall back on established patterns, reaching the promised land requires trust and persistence. Moses, epitomizing both leader and level of consciousness, exemplifies the endless cycle of rebirth and unity with the divine. Recognizing I am as both our claim and our divine core allows us to accept our innate ability to mold reality, steered by the eternal sagacity present in each of us. Embarking upon the road to self-mastery is at once a daunting and rewarding endeavor. Recognizing that our inner divinity resides within our own minds frees us from the limitations imposed by granting authority to external forces or authorities. We are conditioned to look externally for comfort and guidance, leaving us feeling abandoned when swift answers aren't provided, thereby creating feelings of unworthiness regarding divine recognition. However, Moses teaches us the futility of seeking redemption beyond ourselves, stating, There is no God other than the one within both you and me. Our ultimate liberators lie within the declaration, I am free, I am free. Although Moses points us in the direction of the desired homeland, crossing its threshold requires our individual efforts. As such, Moses embodies the archetype that transitions into Jesus, the Redeemer, reflecting the cyclic pattern experienced by every seed.
as described in John 12 verse 24, truly, truly, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Indeed, God represents life rather than death, reinforced in Matthew 22 verses 31 to 32, as for the resurrection of the dead, haven't you read what was said to you by God, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not the God of the dead but of the living. Thus, what lay dormant now stirs, resonating deeply within humanity, reminiscent of the seed. Throughout history, the search for Moses has led astray. Instead of being situated in geographical locations like Palestine, the Vatican, or beneath snow-capped mountains, Moses dwells within us, guiding us toward our rightful inheritance, the promised land. Through his presence, humanity embarks on a journey to recover their lost connection with the divine. Delving further into Moses' story and understanding its implications in our lives entails examining the process of personal transformation and spiritual development, beginning with acknowledging the I Am Presence within us. This journey transcends mere personal growth, instead representing a quest for spiritual freedom and authentic satisfaction. In Neville Goddard's interpretation and the biblical account, Moses serves as more than just a leader and legislator. Rather, he personifies the internal expedition aimed at unearthing our divine nature. Having delivered us from Egyptian captivity, Moses urges us to break free from our self-imposed restraints, namely, fear, doubt, and insecurity, preventing us from reaching our highest potential. Undertaking this journey to self-liberation calls for unwavering faith and trust in the knowledge that a divine spark resides within each of us, possessing the ability to change our circumstances. It is a summons to cast aside modern idolatries, material possessions, superficiality, and the insatiable hunger for external approval, and turn inward, where true strength and wisdom can be discovered. Moreover, Moses' tale highlights the importance of persistence and faith during the trek to the Promised Land. Paralleling the Israelites' 40-year desert pilgrimage filled with hardships, our spiritual odyssey too might be riddled with ambiguity and hurdles. Nonetheless, it is through tenacity and conviction that we overcome these barriers. The concept of metaphorical death and subsequent rebirth echoes throughout various religious teachings. Symbolically dying refers to shedding the ego, attachments, and earthly connections, making room for a harmonious existence aligned with the eternal I Am. Harnessing our desires using the I Am principle does not equate to selfishness. Affirming statements like I am successful or I am healthy acknowledges our co-creative partnership with the divine, allowing inherent abundance and well-being to manifest in our lives. Ultimately, recognizing the I am presence within us transcends individual pursuits. By connecting with our inner divinity, we become aware of our shared essence among countless souls, bound together through love and the realization that all beings emerge from the same divine source. Such insight fosters compassion, empathy, unity, and harmony with existence itself. God embodies Moses, the innate desire for higher consciousness. As our guide along the path, Moses leads us toward this realm but cannot force entry upon us. Instead, we must choose to embrace the journey toward self-mastery, ultimately merging with the Creator and experiencing the wholeness promised to us.